On the Medical Watch tonight, plastic surgery is getting a whole new look. The growing trend toward plastic surgery for senior citizens. A surprising new group of people is heading to the doctor to turn back the clock. This is Dr. Thomas Musto. He is a Chicago surgeon at Northwestern Memorial, a very good hospital, and he was referred to me by both my gynecologist and a close friend who just used him, which is always a good reference, I think. Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas Musto. I wanted to introduce you to my practice. I've been in practice since 1985, and at this point have uh, done more than 10,000 operations. Myrna, mm -hmm. how are you doing? Oh, it's just wonderful. Uh, earlier on in my career, I did a great deal of very uh, complex reconstructive surgery and the technical uh, uh, complexity, I think, has informed and made me the surgeon that I am today. Over the last dozen years, my practice has evolved in exclusively into aesthetic surgery with a retain, retained interest in breast reconstruction. Hi, my name is Karen, and I'm 53 years old and a survivor of breast cancer. When I got diagnosed, it became clear that I would need multiple surgeries. By the end of everything, it became even more clear that I would have a bilateral mastectomy and removal of my ovaries so that I would really have the best chance of survival. My oncologist recommended Dr. Musto, so I began to contemplate a plastic surgeon. What was I looking for? What would I need? For me, it was most important that the plastic surgeon I worked with really understood what I needed in my particular case. I think the success of my practice has been built not by advertising, I don't do that at all, but by uh, effectively, A, of course, getting consistently excellent results, having a well-developed -de aesthetic sense, and uh, really communicating to patients that I am both sincere and that I can really listen to them. I needed my plastic surgeon to be able to talk with me so I could understand it. I needed my surgeon to have the most up-to-date skills, be the most informed and certainly the most experienced for my kind of surgery. My own aesthetic is for completely natural appearance. I feel that strongly that aesthetic surgery should be transparent. By that, I mean that people should look good, but not different. And uh, unlike, uh, unfortunately, so many celebrities we see, there the really should not be, the this, this stigmata of surgery should not be visible. I needed to understand the procedures, the risks, what I could expect, and really what was out of the range of expectation. So what I needed was honesty and competence. I've been a perfectionist. I've constantly analyzed my results and uh, feel certain that the techniques I've developed really are better in terms of minimizing injury and speeding recovery. Since Charlotte was not under general anesthesia, she was awake and sedated, a less risky option, especially for older patients. This is the, tends to be very smooth changes in blood pressure. When we've analyzed it, there tends to be less nausea. When I talked with Dr. Musto, I got more than I could have possibly hoped for. I met a man who not only was the most up-to-date and is the most up-to-date. He is the doctor who teaches other doctors. He is the author of chapters of many medical textbooks. He is the author of articles that other doctors read to keep up to date. Somehow, he also manages to keep up with surgeries and has the most experience of any of the surgeons I interviewed for what I needed. I've also had the opportunity to lecture at many universities, symposiums, in conferences, and while I've been flattered by people wanting to listen to what I have to say, I have also learned much 
uh, as other people have critically analyzed uh, what I have done. What I experienced with Dr. Musto is a man I literally could trust completely. He has this unique combination of the most up-to-date skills and a sense of artistry where he would look at me and see what I was and look at me again and see what we could accomplish given my facial structure, my body type, my age, my skin, my history in my case of both radiation and chemotherapy that did substantial damage to parts of my body. Through every single step of some really complicated surgeries, Dr. Musto was there, his staff was there, the nurses were there, he chose to work with him, and most importantly, he was there for me every step of the way, answering my questions no matter how many times I ask the same question, looking carefully at his work and my recovery so that if we needed something different, we could do it as I needed it. Now, would you advise, as we've talked here with uh, Dr. Doctors Aston, uh, Dr. Aston, about not doing too much at one time? I tend to say if a patient has been not sure that they've wanted surgery for a long time, start off with something small. Hi, my name is Sarah Fisher and I had a septorhinoplasty with Dr. Musto. Um, I heard about Dr. Musto, he was in one of the magazines about Chicago and the best doctors in the city and from personal experience I would totally agree with the magazine. He is by far one of the best doctors in the city. The entire experience with Dr. With Dr. Musto and all of his staff was very pleasurable. It was very calm and they treated me with lots of respect. Um, and most importantly, they were very patient with me throughout the entire thing. If I had to do it again, I would absolutely choose Dr. Musto. I have already recommended him to a couple people and I am thrilled with my results. I felt comfortable with him and his confidence definitely made me feel comfortable as well. I knew he would do a great job and he really did. I'm very, very pleased. My dedication to my practice is evidenced by the fact that all my patients postoperatively get my home phone and my beeper number. I'm available seven days a week. If I'm traveling giving lectures or with my family, I have a wonderful uh, group of partners and uh, so there's always an experienced surgeon uh, here to cover. I've told you my story. I had breast reconstruction. I had skin taken from my face because the breast tissue was damaged because of radiation. So in addition to reconstruction of breast, Dr. Musto also did what would typically be called a facelift on me. That did two things. It gave us the needed tissues, and for me, it removed the age from my face that had occurred because of the stresses and strains of dealing with cancer. In your decision making, I hope that you will answer your own questions with information from a person you trust. And most importantly, I hope that your decision leaves you feeling the way you want to feel. You, our patients, are the most important people to us. In order to make you feel comfortable and secure with your selection of Dr. Musto, the Chief of Plastic Surgery of Northwestern Hospital, as your surgeon, we have created a presentation that will give you a closer look at his work, patient, and practice. We look forward to seeing you soon. I look forward to taking care of you.